So question 6b2 will be a then solve the equation 5 sine theta minus 12 cos theta is equal to is equal to 6.5 6.5 okay since we've already figured out that this this equation here oh, sorry about that uh, this equation here is just the same as 13 sine theta minus 67 point uh, 67 point um, 38 degrees so this these are the same so this will be equal to 6.5 okay so this is so first of all we divide by 13 divide by 13 then sine theta minus 67.38 degrees will be equal to uh, 6.5 divided by 13 is 0.5 so it will be 0 0.5 so Zero, sorry, theta minus six seven point three eight degrees is equal to sine inverse of zero point five, which would be equal to thirty. Then theta minus sixty seven point three eight. So theta will be equal to thirty minus sixty seven point three eight. So theta will be equal to. Uh, 67.38 degrees all right oh sorry um this is plus to be plus will be adding so instead of minus that will be plus so that would be 90 97 point Okay. Question seven is uh the third and sixth term of a geometric progression. The third and sixth term of a geometric progression are two over three or two, two over three and eight over eighteen respectively. Find the common ratio on the first term. Okay. So what we've been told is that is the first one. So this is A one. Is uh first of all we know that uh, a term in the geometric progression is given by a r uh, n minus one. Okay, so this is the formula for for geometric progression. Then we've been told that uh, the third term and sixth term of geometric progression. Okay, so the third term so t three will be equal to a r. Then n is 3, so n minus 1 is 2. Then t6 is just a r n minus 1 will be 5. The power 5. Okay. So this will now be uh, 6 of 10 is uh, 8 over 81 is equal to. A R the power of five, then two two over three is equal to A R the power two. Okay, so this can be written as uh, three times two plus one. That would be eight over three is equal to A R the power two. Sorry, then this is just the same as eight over three R squared is equal to a okay no only cross multiply the r we don't cross the a just the r then this will be the answer here then in short in short what they're saying is that a is equal to this so replacing a in this in this equation will be uh but with this in this equation will be uh 8 over 81 will be equal to uh 8 over 3 r squared r the power 5 okay so r the power 5 and r the power 2 cancel 
that will give us uh, r to the power 3. So it will be 8 over 80. Oh, sorry, over 81. Is equal to 8 r to the power 3 over 3. Then I'll multiply this by 3 over 8 to get rid of this equation here, this uh, fraction here. That will give us uh, 8 over 81 times 3 over 8 is equal to r cubed. Okay, so 8 and 8, this will cancel. Then this 3 into 81 is into 8 just twice. It just goes that twice, then remember it's 2. Then into 21, that will be 7. So that will be 1 over 27. We've got to R cubed. Okay. So the cube root of this. Cube root of this. Uh, the cube root of this is just 1 over 3. Is equal to will just be R. So this is our common ratio. Then you know that uh, a is equal to this sorry a is equal to this so a will be equal to 8 over 3 times r squared is just 1 over 3 squared so a is equal to 8 over 3 1 over 9 okay so a is equal to 8 divided by this and this is just 1 over 3. So a will be equal to 8 times 3. So a will be equal to 24. So the first term is 24 and the common ratio is 1 over 3. Okay. Uh, our question, uh, a states, says that uh, find the medium class. The medium class is just the class with the highest frequency. So our medium, cl uh, medium class is 6 to 20 6 to 20 okay so this 6 to 20 you can just find its average so it'll be 16 plus 20 divided by 2 it's just 18 18 yeah so this is our medium class okay So this is our median class. All right. So uh, then now um, we're going to say uh, calculate the estimate of the mean. Okay. The estimate of the mean. Okay. Um, find the mean. Okay. So to find the mean, first of all, we start by finding the average of each edge okay so the average of one to five is just one plus five then you divide that by two so this will give you three then that will be six plus ten divided by five this is going to give you uh this here is going to give you eight the length of plus 15 is just uh, 20, 26, then divided by 2, that will be 13. Then 16 plus 20 is 36, divided by 2, that is, could be uh, 18, sorry. It's going to be 18. And then this here is going to be 21 plus 6, that is 46. 46 divided by 2 is 23. Then this will give me uh, 56. 56 divided by 2, that's 28. Then this one here is just going to give me, uh, that is 13 plus this, that will be uh, 30, oh, sorry, 66. So 66 is just 33. Okay. So when we get these edges here, what we do is the mean is just the summation of x. And x is the edge, summation of x over the number, which is 7, total number of, of x. So the summation of x is just uh, 3 plus 8 plus 18 plus 18 plus 23 plus 28 plus 33 divided by n, which is 7. So it's going to be um, 3 plus 8 
plus 13 plus 18 plus 23 plus 28 plus 33 which is 126 126 divided by 7 to be 18 so our mean class is 18 okay so now go to our next question which is find the standard deviation standard deviation sd is given by the formula um standard deviation is given by the formula summation of x squared over n minus the mean squared okay so we already have the summation which is going to sum this up to give us 126 then so that would be 126 squared over n n which is 7 sorry over n which is 7 sorry well, that this is the formula for sd and this is our n minus the mean which is 18 squared so sd be equal to uh, 126 squared divided by 7 that would be 2268 two, minus 18 squared is that 324 so 2268 two, minus uh, 324 which is one nine four four then the root of that is just forty four point zero nine and that is our SD our standard deviation SD, SD. okay so that's question eight